Hey kids how is it going I'm Pooja I'm a watercolor artist based out of North America and I'm so happy to bring this 5 day project series just for you kids First of all thank you so much for participating in this postcard series with me and I must say that I'm impressed with all of you You have sent me some wonderful postcards and each one is so special and impressive Keep up the good work and I can't wait to see what you create today All right. So for today's postcard we are going to paint a colorful summer popsicle like this one and write a code below it. Are you ready to paint with me? Gather all your art supplies and let's get started. So before we start painting, let's look at the art supplies that we are going to need today for this project. We are going to need a pencil for sketching and an eraser, a measuring scale, watercolor paper, or a thick card sheet it's completely okay if you don't have a watercolor paper but make sure that the paper you use is thick enough so your paper does not buckle up when you put water on it so make sure you're using a thick white paper you will need watercolors of any brand that you have at home a watercolor brush a black sketch pen two cups of clean water In one cup we are going to rinse our red color and the other cup to rinse the green color. Tissue paper to dab your brush and that's about it. Okay, so let's start by making a sketch of our popsicle. Now somewhere towards the center of the page or little below the center, I'm going to draw a line. approximately 6 or 7 cm and then i'm going to draw two vertical lines which is going to be the stick of our popsicle like this and then just join the ends with a rounded curve on the top i'm going to extend two lines from the horizontal line that we just drew and join the top with a semicircle If you feel that the shape of your popsicle is not coming right, take your own sweet time, use an eraser and keep sketching till you feel that your popsicle looks right. Don't forget to leave some white space at the bottom to write your code. If your pencil sketch is too dark, make sure you erase the lines and make it light. so your pencil lines are not seen through the color make it a habit to make light sketches now i'm going to dip my brush in clean water and just like how we did it for the cactus and watermelon i'm going to apply a coat of water on the popsicle So I'm just going to glide my brush very softly and paint the surface of the popsicle. Your paper will start to look damp the moment you start applying water. But be careful to not make puddles on paper. You want to just apply a thin layer of water. cover all the areas nicely don't leave any white gaps or dry paper make sure your brush is clean because if you have any existing color on the brush that's going to start showing off on the paper So make sure that you rinse your brush nicely before you begin your work. Okay, so now I'm going to dip my brush in pink color. I'm going to load my brush with lots of pink color and apply it on the top semicircle portion of the popsicle and you will see that the pink color instantly starts flowing on paper. We are going to use the same method that we used yesterday for Mr. Cactus. And then if you hold your paper vertical, 
the pink color will start running down. But don't let it run too much because we want a different color in the middle section. Now I'm just going to merge the pink color, apply some darker pink on the top, then clean my brush, dab it on tissue paper, then I'm loading my brush with purple color and applying it at the bottom section of the popsicle. Just like the pink color, the purple color is also going to instantly bleed onto the water surface. Make sure that the purple color stays at the bottom because we are going to use a different color in the middle section. If your purple and pink merge into the center, your middle color will look brown. So make sure there is a white space in the center. Now I have loaded my brush with yellow color and leaving a small white gap before the purple and pink color. I'm going to apply yellow color in the remaining space. It's okay if your colors merge, but don't use too much pressure on your brush. Otherwise, you will get a muddy color on your popsicle. So do it very softly and use a clean brush. And now I'm just going to spread the purple color little. But I'm not going to push it too much into the yellow color. If I do that, my popsicle will look muddy. So let the colors bleed into each other on their own. Now using a clean brush, I'm merging the pink and yellow. And you will see that an orange layer is formed. Merge the layer nicely so you don't have sharp lines. Do this step very slowly and patiently. I'm holding my paper vertical so the color starts running down. And when the colors mix together naturally, it's going to create a beautiful watercolor effect. If you feel that your color is running too much, just use a clean brush, dry it completely and then take the color off from your paper. I'm just mixing all the colors nicely so there are no sharp edges between the colors. And what we want to achieve is a soft gradation of colors from pink to orange, from orange to yellow and yellow to purple. Now I'm loading my brush with brown color. And with that we are going to paint the popsicle stick. You can use dark brown or light brown or do a nice shading using both the colors. Now I'm applying a darker mix of brown on the sides and the bottom of the stick to show some shading. Rinsing my brush off. Okay, so that's pretty much how our popsicle is going to look like. Now I'm going to draw a line below the popsicle and the quote that we are going to write today is stay cool. You can write this in uppercase or lowercase. And two exclamatory marks like so.
and now with the help of a black sketch pen I'm simply going to trace the letters do it very slowly and make sure you don't smudge All right. If your pencil lines are too dark, make sure to erase them after the ink dries up. And now we are going to do something fun. I'm dipping my brush in the bright pink color. I'm loading lots of color onto my brush and then with the help of another pen or pencil, I'm just going to top it on top of the popsicle and make some splatter. This is a very cool watercolor effect and you will notice that your painting instantly stands out and looks cool. And now I'm going to dip my brush in some yellow color. Load lots of color on your brush. Make sure your brush is wet and I'm going to tap some yellow splatter now. And that's it. I really hope you like today's project and I can't wait to see what you create. If you had fun today, please like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Alright, I will see you again in the next video.